Now, ICT Judas swing strategy is one of the most profitable strategies out there. Now, ICT actually broke this down in a three and a half hour long video where I'll be actually breaking it down in literally 10 minutes. So if you can't sit through long, long, long ICT videos, I'll be breaking it down in 10 minutes. And if you can't sit through this 10 minute video, there is no hope for you. This exact same strategy actually got me a £7,500 payout, um, as you can see on the screen below with the proof. Now, if you are seeking profitability and struggling, this this setup alone will get you profitable. Just make sure you watch throughout the whole video, follow all the steps as I say, and if you do this every single day, you are guaranteed to pass your prop firm challenge. First guys, you guys need to know the checklist in how we're actually gonna be trading this exact same strategy. So first things first, we're gonna be trading the ICT Judah Swing. This is gonna be in the London open kill zone only, which is gonna be 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Now this, every bit of timing I'm referring to is gonna be referring to New York timing. No matter where you are in the world, you can change your trading view at a time to New York, which I do personally, just so I can really relate to when ICT talks about his kill zones and it doesn't confuse me, right? So it's gonna be 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. New York timing. We're gonna be using the 15 minute time frame and the one minute time frame, And uh, the sort of confluences of when entering and how the step is gonna form. We're gonna need a liquidity sweep, sweep um, alongside a market structure shift and displacement, plus an order block, and plus it needs to be in a discount or premium. Now, if you guys don't understand what I'm actually saying here, just keep watching the video and it will be very, very clear. Now, as you can see, I do use an indicator that marks out my London kill zone and my New York kill zone. So you guys can do this yourselves. This is the indicator that I use. If you don't want to, you don't have to, uh, but it just makes it a lot easier for myself just to identify what I'm looking at. So let me just take you to a blank space here. So what we're gonna actually be doing is only trading London open kill zone, right? So you're gonna delineate the London kill zone if you're not using the indicator, you can just mark it out. So from 2 a.m., for example, say this is 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., you're gonna mark it out, right? This is gonna be the London open kill zone. So what's going to occur within our kill zone and what we're actually gonna be looking for? So um, let me actually change this. I'm gonna change this back to black. So what? You're actually going to be seeking within your um, London Open Kill Zone. You're going to let price do whatever it needs to do prior to actually approaching your zone. Um, right, so once it actually approaches your session to actually trade, right? Um, sorry, Jamie. Like, once it actually approaches your session to trade, right? What you're going to be doing on the 15 minute time frame is marking out your areas of liquidity. So it can be um, the highs and lows essentially. Basically what liquidity areas are, we do have a liquidity video on our channel. Essentially what it is, is just the highs and lows prior to your session forming. So for example, we have this high marked out, which can be a liquidity sweep, which is our buy side. And this is gonna be sell side, right? So buy side and sell side liquidity, you're gonna mark that out. We're gonna mark it as a liquidity there. So once you've actually marked this out and your session begins, this is where you're going to now wait for either side to be taken out of, okay? So you can either set alerts um, if you're not actively watching the charts, which I personally do myself, or you can just simply watch and wait since we are only on the 15 minute time frame. So once your session starts, you just gotta simply wait, be patient, be patient. Now, when either the sell side or buy side gets taken is when you're actually gonna be actively watching the charts, okay? This is where you're gonna be hunting your entries. So if sell side gets taken, below sell side, what is there? Buy stops, right? Retail traders will call this a market shift and try and carry on trading to the downside. However, our smart money concepts, we know what is under sell, uh, sell side liquidity, buy stops. So if sell side gets taken, you're gonna be looking for buys. Um, if buy side liquidity gets taken, what's above that? It's gonna be sell stops. You're gonna be looking for sells. So. In this example, sell side gets taken, right? So what you're gonna be doing, as soon as liquidity gets taken, you're gonna drop down into the one minute. Once you've dropped down into the one minute, what are you seeking now? Market structure shift along with displacement, okay? Market, now this is very important that displacement must be with it. So basically you're just gonna be seeking the market structure shift, for example, say we get it here. Okay, cool. Now we've had the market structure shift, right? Let's actually label this red because it's very important, right? Displacement, we need displacement. We don't want candles, like small little candles breaking the highs like such. I know that's not a clear illustration of a candle, 
but we don't want candles like that, right? What we actually want is big energetic candles breaking the high. We don't want wicks breaking the high. We need body candles, okay? So remember that displacement along with market structure shift. Now, what you also will need is an order block. Now your order block is gonna be where your entry is. So for example, say there's an order block here, you're gonna mark that out. Now this is where you're gonna actually be entering. However, this order block must be within discount or premium. What is discount or premium? So you're gonna get your Fibonacci tools out, Fibonacci retracement. Now, let me quickly just show you my share settings. So let me just double click that. Uh, this is actually my settings. Uh, you guys can change that too. Now, what is discount and what is premium? This is discount, under the 50% is discount, above the 50% will be premium. Okay, so discount, premium. Okay, just that's what you guys need to have. Above 50% is premium, below 50% is discount. So for example, if we are looking for buyers, we want to make sure our order block is within discount. If we are looking for sales, we need to make sure that um, the our uh, order block is going to be in within premium now let me actually show you a live, live example so how do you actually draw the fibonacci you draw it from the high to the low of where you actually got the mark shift and displacement now as you can see here is it below the 50 percent yes it's below the 50 percent what does that mean is within discount that means we have a valid trade okay so your order block is very important that it needs to be alongside a discount or premium so when we actually do get that retracement finally we then this is what increases your risk to reward by the way this is why i'm throwing in the discount or premium you don't normally have to have it but if you want to increase your risk to reward that is why we actually have it so we want a retracement in and that is what's going to give us a higher risk to reward now let's actually jump into the live charts where i can actually show you guys in um live time how to actually trade this strategy live examples now before i do show you some live examples i just want to share we do have a free telegram where we share um, a lot of our trades, uh, this trade in particular did get me my payout, um, trading the Judas thing. So you guys can actually join that. The link will be in the description below. We do have a mentorship as well, a very private mentorship. Only limited spots. It is only $49.99 for lifetime. Now, if you cannot invest this much into your learning, forget trading. $49.99, you can literally get barely anything these days with this and not only that you actually get a instant free hft passing service alongside this so you get the lifetime access to our uh, our mentorship and get a free hft pass for whatever prop firm you like so uh do make sure you join that do not miss out on the offer now to continue on with the video so first things first on a 15 minute time frame right london kill zone only so we're going to let london kill zone come okay red tether this candle here was uh, the starting of London kill zone. So what we're going to do is just push it back here. We're going to draw out our liquidity areas, like I said. So we're going to have our low here, and we're going to have our high here. Now these two are going to be our liquidity sweep. So we've got sell side. We're going to save that as a liquidity. We've got buy side. Save that as a liquidity. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now you can watch on the one minute, the 15 minute is totally up to you. Okay. There's no rule around it. Just do whatever you want to do. Now, I personally like watching on the one minute just so I can really see everything. So we're going to want buy side or sell side to be taken. Okay. So sell side is now taken. Okay. We've had our sell side liquidity being taken in London open kill zone. Okay. Now, one minute time frame. What do we want? We want a market structure shift and displacement. Now, where is the high to actually have the market structure shift? We're going to label this the high. So we actually need to break this high um, to look for an entry. Okay, so we just wait in, wait in, wait in, unless another high does form. Okay, we have another high formed. Why is this a high? Because the candle before and after is below that candle. So that is a valid high. So what we do, we move our market structure shift to there. Now we wait. Again, what have we had here? A new low being created. So we're actually going to mark that out now. Uh, now what we want to see is the mark shift shift along with displacement. Remember what I explained to you guys, okay? So we're waiting. Okay, done. Displacement, big energetic candle. Candle. Now what do we have? We also have an order block. We mark out this order block. Now is that within discount? Draw out your Fibonacci from the low to the high. Yes, it's below the 50%. Banging, amazing risk to reward. Now all the, we don't always get the retracement every time. So as you can see in this example, 
we do not get the retracement before actually continuing the trend. So what do we do in scenarios like this? We simply just take that new move. So now we have this high. Did we have displacement? Is that a big energetic candle? Yes. Okay. Yes, displacement done. Do we have an order block? Yes, we do have an order block. Now remember what I said in my in the order block video on our channel, you can check that out. Um, when an order block, so for example, it's not only the last down close candle, if there's two consecutive, you can use both. Okay, that's totally fine. So we're gonna mark that out now. Is that, however, is that below 50%? Yes, below 50%. So we actually wait for it to get below 50%. So now I can actually tweak my order block to make it more accurate. So we need a retracement into there before we've been looking for an entry. Boom, done. Now, you can either have a limit order set or you can be actively watching the charts yourself. I like actively watching it just so I know I get the best entry that I can. So we get our entry below 50. Uh, we're gonna set the stop loss just below the low, okay? So just below the low at 100% of our Fib level. Now this is why this strategy is so precise because we actually um, combine the Fibonacci ICT levels along with um, the Judas swing. So we can set, where it has everything marked out for us. We know where to set our stop loss just below that low. 2.2 uh, stop loss, pip stop loss. And what are we gonna be targeting? We can target the next opposing liquidity if you wish. You can close out earlier if you like, but again, that will be totally up to you. So what we do, we simply just let the trade play out, play out, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it does move a bit sideways. And then you can see TP gets absolutely smacked. Okay, for a one to four risk reward ratio. Now this trade would have been like an hour or two max, if that, half an hour possibly for a one to two risk to ratio. But I hope this video does help guys. Do join our free telegram in the link below. It does really help you out. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of value within that. Uh, we have our private mentorship. Again, you do not have to buy it at all. Our videos alone on YouTube do help a lot of people become profitable anyways. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Very little breakdown of Judas Swing um, combined with the ICT Fibonacci levels.